Dear colleagues, welcome to the Onco Alert Cancer Weekly Roundup. We start off with a long-awaited FDA approval. Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine becomes the first approved COVID-19 vaccine, paving the way for mandates, and we are continuing to look forward to Horizon with new information on booster dose, especially in the elderly and those that are immunocompromised. An initiative of a great colleague at the start of the week has led the way to many making donations towards COVAX in order to get vaccines into the arms of those living in countries most in need. Just a way of people who help many others get the shot before planning a third. In breast cancer news, Roche decides to withdraw the U.S. accelerated approval for a tezolizumab in combination with chemotherapy and advanced triple negative breast cancer whose tumors express pdl one citing recent changes in treatment landscape changed by Keynote 522. Pembro now is the only agent in this setting. Just out on JAMA Oncology and term analysis of the SAFE trial led by the University of Florence Cardioprotective Strategy for Patients with Non-Metastatic Breast Cancer who are receiving anthracycline-based chemotherapy. Out on the breasts, first publication from the Positive Study, a global study to support young hormone receptor positive breast cancer survivors during pregnancy. Out on ASCO pubs, physical activity patterns and relationships with cognitive function in patients with breast cancer before, during, and after chemotherapy. The FDA approves ivacitinib tablets in the treatment of IDH1 mutated cholangiosarcoma. The ANOESMO guidelines are now out in the management of patients with brain metastasis from solid tumors. The latest on recommendations and markers. Just out on JCO, neoadjuvant chemo and immunotherapy in muscle invasive bladder cancer. Also in JCO, radiotherapy versus inguinofemoral lymphadenectomy as treatment for vulva cancer. Inguinofemoral radiotherapy is a safe alternative with minimal morbidity. Out on JTO, updated outcomes for dabrafenib plus trametinib in BRAF B600E non-small cell lung cancer overall response rate 65%, median OS of 18 months with 20% five-year OS. Sending our congratulations to our colleagues Pastor Kazi on the latest addition to his family. A reminder that ESMO 21 is coming up in a couple of weeks with loads of great scientific presentations and proudly announcing that OncoAlert and the American Society of Clinical Oncology are collaborating on this year's Quality Care Symposium. That's it, folks, for Weekly Roundup. We'll see you next week.